Hello, it's me, Zoa. And today, I need to talk to you about what has been the 13 days of Christmas. This is the 13th day, and it has been. Because, on the 21st of December, 2012, my long count calendar ended, didn't it? And then on the 21st of December, 2018, 20, uh, sorry, 21st December, 2020, it was the winter solstice. And not, all, not only that, but also an eclipse of the sun, Saturn, and Jupiter. And that was after I found this meteorite skull on Friday the 13th of July, 2018, on the day of a solar eclipse. And there was a puff-sized blood moon lunar eclipse right there. Chicken scratched in like hieroglyphics on the skull. Which has always been in this notebook here since I found it. It's right there. Oop. There we go. Give that a read, and then I also sketched out that said diagram on this. So what you see there is that, and by the way, that's a fossil, and if that's a meteorite, that came from space, of course, that must be the fossil of an alien. So that's that fossil there, and of course that, that orange is that, of course that's that, so you read that, A blood moon lunar eclipse happened. Go to Gungnia. And Odin and the spear Gungnia there. And Fenrir the wolf and the spear of destiny. See my previous videos for details of that. Because something a lot more important has came up since. I went to the tree of knowledge. I took this other spear of destiny because there's more than one. It's a twin pair. I had to dig it in the tap root of a tree of knowledge. In other words, tap into the root of ultimate evil, tap into the root of a source, turn the key, and then put it into the stem of a mustard, mustard plant, because the stem of a mustard plant is hollow, just like the tree of knowledge, because its relatives are the poison hemlock and the mini tree of knowledge there, the common hogweed, for example. Because the tree of knowledge is a giant hogweed. Powerful mustard seed comes into play. You put the case ball into mustard seed stem. He eclipsed the two spears. In Halo Legends, in the episode of Duel, Harker has the metal, metal sword and the Orbiter has the energy sword. Yep. They're supposed to be used with each other, not against each other, you see. And the result, I've been given something else. This, have, right, have, you've heard of a square? The 3D version of a square is a cube. Now, has anyone ever heard of a four-dimensional object? A tesseract. If you have, then you're going to know what you're about to see. You're going to know that that is a tesseract. A four-dimensional cube. It is. Because we're going to go a halo for this. That is a four-runner pyramid structure on halo. Right, now if we take this tesseract, that I have right here, which is a... Actual gemstone grown naturally by our universe. Why are we making buildings with brick and stone when our universe is growing buildings naturally? All we have to do is go scale this up. It's a full-blown house or temple like that. Because as a matter of fact, I've got that exact one. No word of a lie right here. Wait until that gets into focus and you'll see. Yep. 
yep why do I have what looks like a forerunner pyramid in my hands yep the forerunners who built that what the parasite veil is in the both for flood is infecting. Was people like Horus, that was me in the previous incarnation, for who went against the flood, the great mind, the Leviathan and Ragnarok. There it is on there, chopped off its tongue which was obviously a second pair of jaws and got sprayed by its acidic venomous blood and got killed by it. He was a forerunner. Now these guys here are like Master Chief of the Reclaimers. However, the Halo Index key, they only used one, you see. If that's where it went wrong. Try blowing up the halo rings because I thought it was wormholes at first. And then go, free for free guilty spark. That's what this level's about. And goes what was thought was destroying all sentient life so the parasite couldn't spread. But it's not supposed to be done that way. Halo Infinite has been delayed for a reason, you see. And of course, the reason is actually very obvious. Why Halo Infinite has been delayed? Because the Halo Zeta ring, as you know, my name is Zoa. And as you know, I've had chicken scratch on my name in all sorts of various ways, like that. And also, speaking of Spartans and Halo. The parasite is made as being a Yu-Gi-Oh or a boss. 300 Spartans for Zoa to help God out, to help Jesus out. Some of you guys watching this will probably be involved. Wormholes have getting more opened up this way as well. Because it's actually 13 days of Christmas, as I was mentioning before. On the winter solstice, began 13 days of Christmas, not 12. Because... 12 is a dozen. It's actually a baker's dozen. 13. Yep. And so, 21st was the first day. Today is the last, the 13th day. This, what I'm holding here, is the Christmas tree. The lights on the Christmas tree represent all the light on this. The tinsel also. You know? That represents like this. It's the rainbow bridge. It's the aurora borealis, the northern lights and the southern lights as well. It's a rainbow eclipse. It's the Millennium Puzzle. It is also actually the One Piece. And if you look at it from the top point of view, it looks like the biohazard symbol. Uh, you see the umbrella also. However, what do you see above the umbrella? Three Swords of Justice. Three Swords of Justice united above the umbrella, preventing the Antichrist from winning. So we are doing it properly, you see. So there's a parallel with that, and this, it's a pyramid, of course. It's made with one building block, while you were building out of separate bricks and stones. Before, when I had the right idea, and even then, that's not made as well as this one. Make, blow this up, scale it up to the same size as that, you've got one building with various different floors and rooms already in its structure.
That is a four dimensional object in a 3D environment. That is a tesseract. And so is that. I want to assure you that I've also actually physically been to the space-time continuum and I made sure I was asleep and alive by biting my tongue because you don't feel pain when you're dreaming on Boxing Day. I went to that blank right space. Yep, yeah, that blank right space, which is the time-space continuum. And met God face-to-face, shape-shifted into Slendy for a laugh. And then said, hey, a tall alien grave, me, who am I, that God, do you want to come in? And said, yes, please. He pulled us into heaven, the promised lands, the blank right space, physically there in front of him. He put his back, pulled me back in, and then shape-shifted shift, shape into a black cross. It had to be black on account of it being the blank right space, because if he was a white cross, you wouldn't be able to see him. Simple as that, that's all. And now I've just noticed something about that. It's got a cross naturally in it. Well, and so does mine. Well, I'm, what I was showing you before is actually called the composer. That is actually the composer I'm holding. But if you also see here, yeah, that's got the cross on it, like I pointed out, and so does this. Look. One, two. It's also the one piece. It's also the cross. It's a tesseract. There's loads of different games for it. But yes, all this is definitely happening. God is on our side. So is Jesus, like I've always said. But now it's... If... Yeah. Best way, best thing I can say is, I went outside as well. There was a moon with a rainbow around it in a circle. And the clouds passed behind the moon. And I couldn't even see the details on the moon. It's the blank right portal. So it's been done. And if any of you guys have been outside recently in the past week or so, some of you might know it's a, a green sky at night. That is a part of the wormhole forest the Jade Cocoon you see they're setting up. The Jade Firmament. Ready. For when we're taking out the Antichrist. And, you know, at home again, Jesus has come through. We'll put it all to a stop together as a team. So there's the Christmas tree. You know, it's also that exact same, same, um, it, was, it is, isn't it? What is that? It's that. It's that. I'm sat right in front of this, just as Master Chief is sat in front of it. Except mine hasn't got the parasite on it, see, because I got this from God. They didn't. Hence, the flood, the parasite, Cortana, coronavirus, cancer, the three big C's. Do not take the vaccine. If anyone takes that vaccine, it's going to rupture you up in the negative way in the future. And you'll fall all the way down from the top. Just like he did. And you don't want to do that. Go on, does. Do not trust the Earth government on the news, hence why we are going to tier 4. I have been warned about the T-virus for over two years before coronavirus even came out. So please take heed, people. You've seen a 4D object now in 3D space. There it is. And if you happen to know what type of gemstone that is, go and get one. It's a 4D, that's a tesseract. Yep. Well, thanks for watching. I hope you've learned a lot because we really need it. This day is anything. We really need to start thinking about our actions from here on in. We really do. What do you want to do? Suffer that version or do it God's way? As Bordius or God's? Antichrists or gods? Mark of beast? Or the mark of God? 
and make it the halo infinite, or make it the halo Gehenna Pali. Gehenna Pali, or heaven. You know, where do you want to be? I go, where I'd rather be. I don't want to be on the stairway of hell, I want to be on the stairway of heaven. Thanks for watching guys and if you have anything to add to this, feel free to.